Peace and prosperity be unto all who's listening or watching. It's your girl, Lachey Miller, right now. I'm back with another video. And today we're going to talk about the importance of information and research because we live in a world where it's a lot of fake news out there. So the biggest thing with information, the biggest thing with research, the biggest thing with the truth, the, you know, defining the truth and figuring out things and, you know, being a detective and, you know, doing that work. When you research things on the internet, specific topics or any topic, you don't click the first link. Yeah, you can look at it, but I t I'm telling you, like, the real information is, like, links down. You can't just click the first one and believe, well, this is the most popularly looked at or this is the most popularly watched. The ones that are underrated and underviewed are more likely to have the right information and the valuable information that you need in order to get the things that uh, that you're looking for, right? Uh, in a world where information, finding things is really fast, fast information isn't always good because you can search things quickly and not find what's right. It's same like in life, you know, because if we didn't have to go through a process of obtaining the things we want. The things we get may not be good for us, you know? If we didn't have to go through that process, we wouldn't have ever appreciate the things that we have. But it's the same with information. If we was able to get all the right information right away without having to go through a process or, you know, go through a struggle to find that information, uh, the information in which we find will be invaluable to us. And the importance of knowing when information is good and when it's not is really, it really depends on the person and whether they can dis discern if certain information is good or bad. Now, all information can be used and, dis and discarded uh, depending on what you need that information. Because some information you learn today, you won't necessarily use until like years later. Like... Just be mindful of when you're searching for information, you take the time to diligently look, take notes, compare notes, you know, go through, go to the bookstore, you know, do, you know, do some hand book work, you know, look in the library, uh, you know, search things. Don't just use technology because there's old books with valuable, when I say valuable information, you know, the importance of reading is so powerful. And I know I cannot get over this concept because reading helps the mind grow. And it also challenges challenges it, right? You want your mind to be able to grow. So in order for you to grow as a person, you must be challenged. Whether it's your mind, your emotions, your, um, your abilities to think, uh, your abilities to understand, your abilities to overcome your emotions your abilities to come over your demons, whatever the case may be, your ability to be challenged and overcome challenges is the greatest, um, the greatest, greatest key to self evolution, right? But the thing about information is, it's a ton and a ton of information out there, and we have many parts to ourselves. We got our subconscious we got our conscious we got the super subconscious and we have the intuition the inner self and you have the inner feeling and you have emotions and emotions is not so always a valuable tool for information but emotion is also a form of energy as well and sometimes in which the things you cannot see you can sometimes feel beforehand so the importance of information lies in oneself. You know, your ability to be in tune with you and be in tune with the things around you and understand things to a point, right? Because it's only so much we understand. And all wise people know that they don't know everything. If you're wise, you, you, know, you know a lot, but you don't know it all. Kudos to you. My biggest thing about this generation is it's a lot of reporters and people uh like journalists they they spread false news to get clout or views but 
I mean, I get it. You got to have both the yin yang. You got to have the good. You got to have the bad. And, I, you know, I know good is a cliche to some people, and it probably really is, you know, because you don't get no experience in, experience by being perfect all the time. You know, you don't get your experiences. And you don't learn from the good. You learn from the bad. You learn from the struggles. You learn from the hardships. You learn from the suffering. You learn from the pain. You don't learn from the good of life. I mean, you get to enjoy the good of life. Yeah, there's some, some look, some small lessons in the good, but it's some greater lessons in the bad. And I, I know sometimes greater things happen so bad things can take place. I mean, sometimes bad things happen so greater things can take place. <laughs> My bad, you guys. Um, but you always got to see the bigger picture in things, and you can't focus on, you know, your way all the time because... Your way won't always be the way of the world. We are constantly evolving as a people. The technology these days is constantly advancing. The phones, the TVs, the computers, everything around you is excelling constantly. Every time you look on your phone, your apps are going slower. It's because you need to update them. You constantly need to update everything in your life, whether it's your phones your apps or yourself in order to keep up with the times you got to be updated with the times you don't have to be like the times you can stand out and be different but you need to make sure and decipher the things in which you believe based on your principles and your values you cannot let the world conform you and make you seem like something you're not do not be conformed to trends and uh, social standards or expectations of how you should be you want to be beyond the social normality. You want to stand for the truth. You want to stand up for what is right. You want to stand up for principles, values, and even sometimes morals. Because even morals are good. Because they're a good, they're a good judge of character. They keep you stable. I'm not saying perfect. They keep you stable because you want to have morals in situations. Now, morals don't exist fully anymore because... The reason why morals don't fully exist is because I guess people just have it, you know, had so much going on in their lives. People don't have morals. People don't have that self-love to care for the things in which they do. And if you don't care about how you do things, the way you go about it, it only matter what you're pursuing. It only matter what you're you what you desire. Your how is greater than your why. And the reason why I say that is because how you go about doing things is greater than why you want it okay but i'll talk to you about that in the next video because that is powerful and people don't understand like you can't be out here just doing things any kind of way and i get it we all have free will but you got to be wise in your will you got to be wise in your decisions you got to be wise in yourself and you got to govern this body to do the right things now, I'm not saying you're always going to do the right things. I'm not saying you got to be perfect. I'm not saying perfection is what, I, what you should seek. I'm saying you should seek for improvement and always advance your mind. But also, when you're looking for information, you need to be able to fully function your mind logically, not emotionally. Because logically, you can find the truth in anything, in anybody, at any time. Now... Your abilities to discern things, whether it's emotional intelligence or intellect or strong head capacity, right? Having a deep intuition like most people. Being totally in tune with you allows you to be able to be in tune with the world, right? It's a lot of false news uh, misleading people and there's a lot of people awakening in this time. In this time of awakening there's a lot of people waking up to confusion it's a lot of chaos going in the world and a lot of things that are going on was prepared and planned long before it happens the reason why i say this is because many people are very misinformed and greatly misled and the blind cannot lead the blind so if you're somebody who is just awaking and on a spiritual journey or just getting just opening your eyes to see things in a different view or a different way or a new perspective you don't fully understand what is going on or why things are going on the way they're going on and why things look the way they look. Well, let me tell you, things have been going on like this for centuries. Things have been going like this for years. And as long as this earth has been here, things have always been like this. Uh, it's not new. We may be a new generation, but this is not new. 
and it's it's always going to be like this even if we're constantly advancing and evolving in certain aspects there is a problem where technology is more advanced than people and i believe and, and you know humans are the most powerful machine on earth because we have the mind and the mind is basically technology manifested in realization right so when people really start using their minds to control their will their decisions their uh, abilities to overcome and face the things in which they've yet learned to face because it all starts in the mind all things happen in the mind mind first because the heart is a I hate to say the heart's corrupt but it is because anything you have great passion for you are willing to kill for they say bad company corrupts good character but I believe too much passion can corrupt good character too you know anything that that can easily hurt you anytime you are able to care anytime you're able to have passion anytime you're standing up for something you believe if it don't go your way and you don't have the wisdom to discern and understand why things are not going your way the things in which you love most the things in which you believe most the things you value most the things in which you stand for most, the things that you love most in this world will corrupt your character, will turn against you like hope, like hope. You become totally hopeless and you become totally dark within yourself because the very things that you love became your enemy. It became a, a desperation of desire and desire is dangerous when it's not controlled by one's mind or will. When you don't have the mind to control your will, you do anything for the things you want. See, and that's the important things about information, you know, saying books are really important. And most people, you know, I get it, a lot of people can't read. I get it, it's understandable. And, you know, we got audio books, you know, you can listen to books, you can uh, get on YouTube and watch people read books out loud. You can as many solutions to that problem. It's not a problem. It's many solutions to problems. If you're not a solution driven individual, this will always be a problem for you. Okay. Don't make excuses. Find solutions. Okay. We live in a world <laughs> where the value of things are greatly misunderstood because there's no true substance in things. The way it is in people people put more value in things than they do in people and there's more substance in people and there's no substance in things because the things in which if the things in which you love the things those shoes those clothes those things that people go crazy about right if those things had substance like yourself wouldn't it go with you when you die but it doesn't so it remains here it has no value or deep sus substance in which where you're going after here, it don't have no greater purpose than here. So when you put great importance on things that are not important, like material things, things that won't never go with you. When you don't focus on values, principles, and truth, you get caught up in the chaos, the misunderstanding, the lack of guidance, uh, the corruption, the darkness. And these things seep, seeply eat you like a leech in the night. It's like a void of darkness. It's like it, it corrupts the mind. But first it attacks the heart. Because for one not to have emotional intelligence, it starts there with you. Because the mind is a powerful concept. It has the ability to overcome and, you know, do anything if you work it. Because you got to work the mind. The mind is lazy if you allow it to be. But the heart can convince the mind to do things in which the mind know is not right. The same with the body. If you don't control your will and your choices, you will do things with this, these hands. This physical body in which your mind don't fully agree with. That your inner self may say, well, that's wrong. If you have no inner strength to overcome, being misled is going to be you. 
And you got to be the one who wants to be the informant of truth. You know, it's not many people out here informing people about truth. There's not many people out here doing that work. You know, there's a lot of work. And people who speak truth know this very fact. Those in which speak truth spread knowledge. Give out information in which most people are afraid to do. The reason why most people are afraid, not because they don't have the right to speak or the freedom of speech. They know that the things they say can greatly cost their life because it's power in the tongue as it is in the mind. And when you understand these small concepts, that the power lies greatly with you, but until you use that power, there is no great power going anywhere. It's like an energy, you know what I'm saying? Energy is a force field that, you know, it moves in certain aspects of life without you governing it, but the energy in you, and the energy in your world and the world within you is only governed by your words and your actions and your thoughts and the things that you believe and that you focus so much intention on, right? And your engagement also governs your energy as well because whatever you spend too much time on <laughs> is the things that you're going to manifest. It's the things that you're going to constantly seek reality on. And if you're not focused on getting what you need, you always get what you don't want. That's like key factor. You will always get what you don't want when you focus on what you don't need. And when you don't focus on your needs, you never get what you want. <laughs> so at, at this point, you want to take the time to understand the value of information. Because information is powerful. It's amazing. It's very delivering and, you know, amazing for the soul. Okay, it's great. They say knowledge is power, right? Knowledge is power only when you use that knowledge to apply in your daily life. Wisdom is knowledge applied over time, but only when you use that knowledge to apply can it be great wisdom for you, right? Learning is powerful only when you seek learning to grow. Because learning, learning is for many things, but... The key factor in learning is growth, right? You want to always be mindful that things in the world will never be the way you desire. We all set in our hearts and our minds and our, our spirits, and we have this idea of how the world really should be. It never will be that way, okay? It's not even it's not even in our hands. And so while we concern ourselves with great things like that blows me away. I'm somebody who thinks like that, but I'm just saying we, we concern ourselves in things in which we cannot change. And those are the most those are the things that trouble us most. The things that we can't change, the things we can't take back, the things that um we can't fix. Because there's a lot of things that anybody can go fix, you know. Anybody can fix a lot of things. Anybody can just stand up for the truth and go march and, and just speak up for the rights and do this and that and that. But there's some things in life that everybody has a deep desire to change. But we can't change them. It's not in our hands, you know. And, you know, when you live in this life... <laughs> If you don't live for a purpose, I get it. You know, not many people do. But as long as you live in and you're doing your, what you consider your doing on earth, that's all that matters. As long as you're living and living a life that makes you happy, that's fine. Not everybody can stand for truth. Not everybody's out here for information. Not everybody's here for the same reasons, okay? Remember that. Because um, when watching my videos, you got to understand that everybody has a aligning purpose and aligning reason for why they are here you must understand your reason for being here you must understand why you're here you must understand how you're gonna do it okay don't focus too much on things that are not important because if you focus too much energy on negativity and bad news and things that don't change or you can't change you get lost up in the chaos so, focus on information and know that information is valuable. Know the 
importance of research. Research is very important to any intellectual out there, okay? If you're somebody who's a journalist or a news reporter, a doctor, or any anybody who has some sort of information or truth, I suggest you spread it because we live in a time where information is greatly um, messed, messed with, you know? No one's giving out the real information. Nobody's giving out the real truth. Everybody wants to, you know, decode and be coders and whatever the case may be. But when it comes down to truth, it's just a matter of speaking it. And whether you're willing, it's all about, it all depends on you. So, with that being said, peace, love, happiness, and I hope you guys have a abundant day. But also, comment, like, subscribe, you know, share this video if you want more videos like this which i'm always going to give um if you got any ideas or topics you wish to see me talk about just let me know in the comments you know can you know talk with me engage guys because you guys are important your minds are important your spiritual well-being your, your your souls everything about you is important so as long as it's important to you because it will always be important to me. And it will always be something I stand for and I always talk about in my videos. Now, for you, that all depends on who, if you love yourself, okay? It's why I talk about self-love and, you know, self-worth and the importance of those things as well. Same with information. All that stuff is important because it is all a government, a, a governing of your body, your vessel. Because all that aligns, aligns in yourself. So, take time to do the search. Take time to get the information and make sure you spread the truth. Love and never allow people to misguide you. Trust your intuition and make sure you're stepping up, okay? Step up.